Hello friends, welcome to math class. Today we're going to be working on completing our unit on area and perimeter. We're really focusing on the basics and foundations for this skill. So join me and make sure you have paper and pencil. I'm going to share my screen with you now so we can go through the lesson together. Today our goal is to understand and solve problems with area and perimeter. All right, so problem one, it says, what is the perimeter? And we're looking at this figure here. Perimeter is on the outside of a shape. So for number one, we're going to simply add the sides. I can see right here, this is six and six, six and six. So we could add, we can add six four times or you can quickly do the multiplication back to six times four because this is a square. So we could say four groups of six, which is the same thing, which we know equals 24. Here's a 12, here's a 12. 12 plus 12 is equal to 24. So where it says type your answer here, you just tap on that blue writing and then you'll be able to submit your answer, 24. So 24, square units, but if you just put in a 24, oh, I guess I should put centimeters squared, 24 centimeters, okay? You can do it just like that, or you can just put in a 24. Okay, let's go to the next one. So another basic for area and perimeter, this one gives us an array, and this connects us to the area model. So we're gonna talk about three down, and we're gonna go how many across? Five. So to find, for problem number two, to find area, we're gonna multiply the length times the width. Sometimes you might see it referred to as height times width. So how tall is the figure? And we would say three. And then how wide is the figure? Watching the mouse, one, two, three, four, five. So three times five is 15. So our area is 15. Okay, the second one is perimeter. Perimeter, we add all the sides. So we're going to take the side lengths. So if I quickly sketch this box out, we have three, five, three, and five. We've learned that rectangles have opposite sides the same, so this side and this side are both the same, same as top and bottom. The parallel sides are equal. So three plus three plus five plus five, well that's a 10 and six, so 16. Doesn't give us any other measurements, so we just leave it as 16. Now we're gonna look at this figure. It says, look closely at the shape. How many square units will fit in the shape? So some of the pieces have been left out, but if you count these square units, one, two, three, four, and then you can see one, two, three, four, five across, the area would be equal to three times five, which is 15, and then the perimeter would be the same. Oh wait, not three, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five times one, two, three, four, five. What was I thinking? See, it's always good to look and check again. I was thinking about this one still, apparently. So it's five times five, which is 25. Okay. Now I'm going to be able to add four groups of five, which is 20, or I could add five, 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 and five. Still going to get that 20 for the perimeter. So remember to area we multiply, perimeter we add. Clicking again. Now we're going to look at this one. This figure is one that we're going to have to break apart using our distributive property to help us break the figure into two equal groups. What's the total? So I'm just going to cut it right here and I'm going to go ahead and fill in the numbers. I see a nine, three, three, and nine. So I know that if I'm just looking at this figure right here, it would be the same as 
9 times 3. And then if I'm looking at this figure, well, if this whole thing is 9, then I need to figure out what number plus 3 equals 9. Do we see why? So I can use my highlighter to show you. So this line is 9. That yellow line is equal to this little piece and this medium-sized piece put together. So in your think bubble, over here, your think bubble, you can think 3 plus what equals 9. Or you could flip it and do subtraction, 9, 8, 7, 6. So the missing number is 6. So for this piece, it would be 6 times 3 or 3 times 6 for the area. So my total area, this is where the distributive property comes in, is the same as 9 times 3 plus 6 times 3. 9 times 3 is 27, and I rewrite the problem. 6 times 3 is 18, and then when I put those together, I'm going to use the algorithm and I'm going to add my 1s. 8 plus 7 is the same as doubles minus 1, so 15. And then I add the 10s. 1, 2, 3, 4. So my answer would be 45. I forgot to mention, at any time in the video where you need to pause to catch up with your note taking, or if you just want to sit and watch the whole thing and then watch a second time to take notes, that is completely up to you and how your learning style works. But you will see these questions on the next assignment, so I would encourage you to write these things down and take notes. And if you have questions, jump over to Flipgrid and ask us to help you. Or you can send us a note. All right, so we have 45 right here. So the total area would be 45. So I would click on the blue box and type my answer, 45. Perimeter, we have one that is missing sides. So we see that this is column five and we have a one, two, three, four, five sided shape, which is a pentagon. And there are five times something equals 25. Well, we know that 5 times 5 is 25, and that makes sense because 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. So we would be adding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you can tell that this is a regular pentagon, so all sides are equal. Okay, so let's try one more that's not on the screen, but just because on the test tomorrow, they may not all be the same length. So what if I gave you this oddly shaped triangle? And I'm gonna tell you that this is a seven, this is a nine, and this is the missing number. I don't wanna give it away. And so seven plus nine plus something is equal to, Let's just say 28, I don't know. All right, so nine plus seven is 16, plus something is equal to 28. So we have to figure out what is 28 minus 16? Two, one. So that means this missing side, which I need to now make longer to make my model match my problem, the missing side is a 12. So on the figure that you see on your slideshow, each side was the same length, but you might have one that has three sides with different lengths, but they give you a total. So use your fact families to help you solve. Okay, so we're gonna turn the page. All right, what is the perimeter of the shape? So here again, we are going to be adding, this is the same figure that we drew right here. So I'm gonna take this figure that I drew on number four, and now we're gonna find perimeter. So we will add nine plus three plus, oh, what would this be? I'm missing this side. Remember we talked about that. 
Opposite sides are the same. So if this is 3, 3 plus what is 9? 6. And then here's another 6. And here's a 3. And here's a 9. And now I'm going to add them together. I know that 9, 10, 11, 12, here's a 12, plus here's a 12, plus 9, 10, 11, 12, another 12. So I can use multiplication, what is three groups of 12, or 12 plus 12 plus 12? 36. So in the box, I would write parameter equals 36. All right, this one is a challenge problem. Rectangle has a perimeter of 18, what could the area be? So first I need to figure out if the perimeter is 18. So I've got to figure out how to make the rectangles so they're not all the same, so it's not 18 divided by four. Nope, we have to think about what numbers could be the same here and here. So this is our challenge, right? So I'm thinking about the number 12. If I split 12 into two equal groups, I could have a group of six, two equal groups of six. So six and six. Now 12 plus how many more equals 18? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 12 plus six. So then I know that six can be broken into three and three. So that worked. So that's one solution. That's one set of sides. And so then our perimeter would be 18. And our area would be 3 times 6, which is also 18. Okay? What if we did it a different way? Let's see if we can do it. Think of a different way to do it. If our perimeter is equal to 18, what if we did... Let's start it this way. What if I said 2 and 2? So 4 plus what equals 18? And you would know pretty quickly that's 14 because 8 minus 4 is 14. Now take those 14 and divide it into two equal groups and we would get 7 and 7. 7 and 7. So a second solution would be 2 times 7 is 14. So one possible area would be 14. Okay, the next one. Let's see if there's another way. So we're going to do area equals, we don't know, but perimeter is 18. Well, let's see if three works. Three, oh, we already did three. Let's see if four works. 4 plus 4 is 8. So I'm going to take my 8, and I've broken it apart, right? So 8 plus how many more equals 18? And we know 10. But we have to have two sides, so we'd have to break that into 5 and 5. So 5 and 5. So another possible area would be, the area could be 20, because 4 times 5 is 20. And our perimeter would be 18. All right, I wonder how many other ways. Let's see. Let's see if we can do one more, then we'll move on. So the area, we don't know, but the perimeter is 18. So we tried twos, we tried threes, and we tried four. Let's try, and we already know five works, right, because of this. Oh, and six is going to work because here's our six. Sevens, let's try eight. 8 plus 8, 8 plus 8 is 16, 8 plus 8 is 16, 16 plus how many more equals 18? You guys can't see what I'm writing, sorry about that. So I'll say that again, 8 plus 8 is 16, so we broke it into 8 on each side. And then how many more to equal 18? And we know that's 2. Well, what's 2? If we had to broke that into two more sides, it would be 1. So 1 on each side. And now that I know that I can't use 9, because 9 plus 9 is 18. And you can't have a side worth of 0. 
So these are all the options. So we found one, two, three, four ways in all. Okay, so you would just type one way in here. I was just giving you four examples. Okay, the rectangle has eight rows and five columns. How many unit squares are in the rectangle? So to solve for area, we can think about making an array. Eight rows, that's eight going down. Right, because they would go this way. And then how many columns? One, two, three, four, five. So that's going to give us this shape, which is eight times five. So our area is 40. The question says, how many unit squares are in the rectangle? We would know that each one of these X's is representing one unit square. So we would have 40 unit squares. So the equation would be 8 times 5 is 40. And then the answer would be there are 40 unit squares. Good. And that's the end. So I know that was really quick. So maybe go back and watch it again or fast forward to the parts that maybe you wanted to take another look at before you take your assessment. And best of luck. Today is your pre-test or a practice test. If you have questions, this is the time to ask your teacher. Remember, we are here to help you. And then tomorrow you will take a test exactly like this one. The numbers will be different. So make sure if there's any problems that you don't understand that you find a way to ask for help today. I know you can do it, guys. I believe in you. Bye.